Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Kingdom. The place where all toys prosper, they will and shall forever. Okay? Alright guys, and so in today's video, we will be taking a look at something pretty unique and magical per usual. However, I believe it is a premiere on this channel. So that is something that I'm very excited for and that you also should and that you also should be excited for. Alright? So this item is from Disney Junior and it's about princesses. So I'll let you guess you know what I'm reviewing. So I'll go ahead and wait for like five seconds while you guys go ahead and comment to let me know. One, two, three, four, five, ta. <laughs> Alright guys, so without further ado, please allow me to introduce you the one and only Dun -da -da -da. Okay, alright. So as you can see there, today we will be reviewing the Sophia the First Royal Prince Figure Set Mermaid. Alright, so today our set of toys comes in this beautiful and gorgeous packaging. So this is the view from the front. Then follows the view from the right hand side. And after that, the view from the back. Then the view from the left hand side. And after the view from the bottom. And to top it all off, here comes the view from the T.O.P. Bye bye. All right, guys. So quickly, by taking a look at the front, you can see that um, we'll be, you know, playing with a few, uh, well, a few, um, <laughs> a few pieces, right, or a few toys, or assortment, of, or assortment of toys. So we have Sophia. We have like Sophia in the mermaid version. We have two other extra characters. We have a sea lion. And this is which is pretty nice. And here it says that this toy is recommended for people of ages three and up. Which I definitely agree with. So now, by us moving over to the right hand side, we have some more information about the items included into this set. So we have Sophia as a princess, of course. We have this mermaid, her name is Cora. Okay, that's pretty cute. And we have Mermaid Sophia. Okay, looking good. And we have this mermaid, her name is Una. Ooh! And our sea lion's name is Sven. What? That is pretty nice and pretty epic okay so guys we have to say thank you to disney junior and uh just play for of course collaborating onto this magnificent work of art so now before we get our hands dirty i must of course share with you uh you know the story behind you know the um apparition right is that what it's called, is that what it's called? The story behind the apparition of this story on the channel right there was the story behind the appearance <laughs> The story behind the appearance of this toy on the channel okay so guys as always I was looking for a new toy to review on the channel but this time I was looking for something very unique something that I haven't like actually touched so you know I just went ahead and started googling you know Sophia the first to see if she has any toys and I came across this one so I figured you know what why don't I just go ahead and order me you know order myself you know a few toys about Sophia, especially, especially this one. Make a quick review for you guys and then see what you guys think and see how well it performs on the channel. So please let me know what you think by leaving a comment, by leaving a comment, all right? Sharing this video with your friends and your family member, subscribing, hitting the bell icon, and smashing the like button, okay? So now, without further ado, let's jump right into okay guys as you already know i've got my scissors here and i am ready to attack all right so ready for an underwater adventure all fans are invited to play out their favorite scenes from disney juniors sophia the first with this deluxe figure set which includes all of your favorite mermaid friends in Enchantia. This set includes uh, Sophia as a mermaid, Sophia in her seashell uh, gown 
Una, Cora, and Sven, all in one set, of course. This toy is mostly suitable for people of ages 3 and up. Alright, so now let me see how I can go ahead and open this thing without completely uh, destroying the beautiful packaging. So let's see here. I'll just go ahead and remove this side like so right there. Let me see. <laughs> this thing, I mean removing it without actually damaging the box completely isn't as easy as it looks, huh? So let me go ahead and do it this way. And then slightly remove things like that. And I can go ahead and kind of get my legs out. A mermaids and princess and creature is out. But this is why the container or the packaging looks like when it's being emptied. Kind of interesting. Alright. And in here, this is the extra layer of protection that accompanies our toys. So let's go ahead and remove them. So these are pretty secure. They are very nicely secure. Alright guys, I'll just go ahead and, and then kind of fast forward it so I don't have to, you know, have you sit here and watch me struggle to remove all these characters because they are pretty well secure. <laughs> Alright, B R B. Okay, alright guys, so now we are back at it. And now let's take a good look at our different characters. So first we have Sven the Sea Lion. So this is what Sven the Sea Lion looks like. Pretty cool and pretty nice. This is a quick little view from the front. Quick one from the right hand side. Quick one from the back. And then a quick one from the left hand side. Quick one from the bottom and a quick one from the T.O.P. So we have Sven the Sea Lion behind some kind of an Augie and then this is um, some kind of a floral structure and then this is like a support so it's pretty cool and pretty interesting. <laughs> this is why that's the sound that uh, the Sea Lion uh, makes in cartoons in case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright, so now who do we have here is we have Sophia the First as a mermaid. So this is what Sophia the First as a mermaid looks like. She has a purple tail looking good. You can see here her amulet, which is like a signature for her. You can see here she's wearing her crown and she's sitting on some kind of a, a structure, like a Stone structure, whatever, you, whatever, they, whatever they call it. All right, so this is pretty clean, cool pretty nice. Quick little view from the front. Quick one from the right hand side. Quick one from the back, and we can see a star, starfish, and we can see some shells. Oops. Quick little view from the left hand side. Quick one from the bottom. If you top it all off, quick one from the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey guys, that's pretty cool and pretty nice. You can go ahead and leave Sophia as a mermaid right there. Then now, what do we have here? We have the ballerina Sophia. So this is Princess Sophia in her princess uh, gown. As you guys can see here, this is pretty cool and pretty nice. I really like this outfit on her. So this is the view from the front. Quick little view from the right hand side. Quick one from the back. And then quick one from the left hand side. Another quick one from the bottom where we can see like a shoe print. And to top it all off, quick little view from the T.O.P. Baby. She's wearing like a gray crown. This is her, her amulet. And then this is her gown. Look at the pearls right here. Pretty cool little design pearls. For pearls. 
and then here yeah, you guys pretty cool and pretty nice look, look at the gradients in her gown I like it a lot so we just go ahead and put her right there all right so now what do we have here I believe this is Una right let me just make sure that I'm getting the right name yes so this is Una okay so Una is right here Una the mermaid looking pretty gorgeous okay so now this is what Una looks like from the front quickly the view from the right hand side quick one from the back where you can see some algae algae is that what it's called algae algae I don't know and some stars quick little view from the left hand side the view from the bottom and to top it all off the view from the T.O.P. but now she's wearing her blue crown and she has like a dark orange tail with uh, dark green things and then she has a, a metal bracelet is that what it's called? I think some, she has some kind of a bracelet and yeah man that is pretty much it she has her hair in like a ponytail and it's being held like that so that's pretty much it man so we just go ahead and put her right there and last but not least we should be having Cora. so this is Cora the mermaid Woo! Cora the mermaid is pretty damn cute I like her a lot so this is what she looks like from the front then if, you switch, then if we switch over to the view from um, the right hand side, okay, then after that we take a quick look at the back, we can see some algae or algae or however it's pronounced, we can see some stars, then we can see the view from the left hand side, then after that this is the view from oops, the bottom, and to top it all off, here comes the view from the T.O.P. So she's a mermaid with like a dark brown tail, that's pretty nice. And then you know some pinkish, like rubber, uh, like bubblegum, uh, bubblegum color fins, right? And you can see here the upper part of her tail or of her body, and then we have a few stars right here by the bra area. And then she has this little thing by her hair, which I like a lot. And then she has she has her hair in a ponytail, which is pretty cute too. So guys, I like it a lot, and you know it's pretty damn nice. So we just go ahead and sit her right there. So that's pretty cool, and that is pretty pretty nice. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So as for me, guys, this toy gets a rating of five out of five for a few reasons. Number one, there is a huge variety in the pieces. As you can see there, we have, uh, we have, what is Sophia? I was gonna say Elena. We have uh, Sophia in her gown as a princess. We have, um, I forgot her name. I think it's Una, right there. Una, Una the mermaid. We have Cora the mermaid. We have Sophia as a, as a, Sophia as a mermaid. And we have Sven the sea lion. Uh, number two, you know the pieces are of a rather good size. So as for me guys, this time the pieces are of a rather good size. Because you guys already know I prefer my toys to be kind of tall and kind of big. They are sure to spark some creativity. Yes guys, so for example, if if I were to be playing with these at this very moment, what I would do is, you know, is kind of create a little sketch that goes kind of like this. So, this is Sophia the Princess. So Sophia the Princess is trying to, you know, uh, get to talk to the mermaids because she wants to rescue because she wants to rescue Sven. So Sophia will be saying like, "Hey guys, hey guys, uh, um, my friend Sven is looking. My friend Sven is in danger at the moment. What can I do to help him?" And then the and then the and then <laughs> and then Cora and Una will be like, "Sophia, we can try to help you, but you will need." To be a mermaid like us, and then Sophia will probably be like, "Oh, uh, through my amulet, I should be able to transform, or some, or like call the help of a princess." As you guys already know, the amulet has uh, magical powers, so her amulet allows her to contact all the other princesses whenever she's in danger and ask for guidance and help. And uh, they also allow her to, you know, transform sometimes. So she will probably call some kind of a, a princess out of the ocean and that princess will give her the power to transform into this version of Sophia and then her and the other two mermaids will swim 
back to we swim we swim towards uh, Sven in order to rescue him from wherever he's stuck at or from whatever is chasing him you know kind of like that so guys this tour this this set of toys is definitely guaranteed to spark some creativity some creativity in you uh, they are made out of good material and uh, holds beautiful craftsmanship so the material definitely used for this toy is pretty damn good it's pretty damn good and the craftsmanship is also a plus you can also check out the attention to details like this is oh sorry like this is what Sven looks like up close. This is Sophia as a mermaid up close. This is Cora as a mermaid up close. This is Una as a mermaid up close. As Sophia in her princess gown up close. So pretty damn nice. Uh, they are reusable, definitely. So these set of these set of toys is definitely reusable for as long as you take good care of them, of the pieces, pretty much. And uh, they are nice and somewhat sturdy. However, however, you should avoid dropping them on the floor or throwing them at things in order to limit the amount of uh, scuffs, scuffs, scratches, and possible breaks. You might also want to avoid, you know, playing, you know, smashing them or doing anything crazy like that. So, guys, please be responsible while playing, you know, with the with these type of toys. Okay. <sighs> So that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of today's video. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Yep. Leave a comment to let us know what you think, what you'd like to see, and where we can improve. Share this video with a friend or a family member in order to help us spread the word and to raise awareness. But most importantly though, make sure to completely destroy that subscribe button and to also hit the bell icon to stay tuned for more. As always guys, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. See you. Whoop. Bada bing, bada boom, pop. Kaboom, boom. Bada bing, bada boom, pat, kaboom, bing, pat. Sophia the first, yeah.